Joe Pietaro here with your Muscle Sport Minute for today. This episode is being brought to you by Goliath Labs. Here is their Deep Cell Matrix Nitric Oxide Booster. Check them out at GoliathLabs.com. Uh, I actually have a, a, a guest today on my Muscle Sport Minute. This is usually a flying solo program. Stevie B is joining me. He's a little disheveled. It's a little, uh, I guess, his uh, greasy kid stuff fell out of his hair after that bomb fucking shell yesterday by my pal Dave Palumbo over at RX Muscle. Boys, holy fuck, man. My friends over at RX fucking really killed it yesterday with that Dallas McCarver uh, scoop slash interview breaking news heard all over the fucking bodybuilding industry. And uh, definitely much to the ch- 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 chagrin of Stevie B and company. Um, listen, first of all, probably Dallas did them a favor because they don't have to pay him anymore. But it was a package deal along with a fucking advertising package from Aaron Singerman and Redcon 1. So, yes, he doesn't have to pay anymore, Aaron, but he's also getting a lot less every month. Now, I don't know what the fuck he was getting. And uh, as far as I read today, because I'll flip through MD. I don't really see. Oh, cool, look, they're advertising in the magazine. Right? I'd look through it to fuck with it a little bit. And a lot of times I'm looking for somebody I can hit up for ads too. My product better than his. <laughs> it's obvious. Um, so when I, uh, when I look through it, but I don't really notice who's advertising and where. If I see somebody new, now obviously I know Redcon, I know Aaron. So if I notice their ad in there, it's not going to you know, fucking burn a memory. But, uh, you know, uh, Ron Harris, who we got uh, something talking about him coming up in the next clip, uh, said it uh, that they are only were advertising on the website, not in the magazine, so it won't affect the magazine at all. Well, he was trying to allude to that. Uh, bottom line is it's the bottom line, and it fucking funds both fucking projects. So, <sighs> wow. First, first they moved their... Office MD, the place that I got fired out of, they allegedly owed a lot of back rent to the fucking, uh, it's like a computer company or some shit that owns the beautiful fucking building. I, we had a nice, I had a great little cubicle. I love my office there, cubicle. And uh, supposedly they owed a lot of back rent. And then, then I heard somewhere around the holidays, they moved to a different location. And I heard it's smaller obviously, and got fucking, it was a skeleton crew to begin with, now it's a fucking, you know, half a skeleton crew, after, uh, you know, some people quit, and others were fired, long after my, you know, fucking canning, um, so, obviously, shit was going downhill, it's been no fucking secret, they owe money all over town, and then, uh, they cut their fitness titles, RX for men, RX for women, from, Six to four issues a year, so they're a quarterly now. They should just fucking shit can the men's magazine. It sucked cock since he fired me, and that's a fucking fact. You can fucking compare it. <laughs> Please do. I, I, I welcome comparisons. And uh, the women's magazine, that's basically, uh, you know, it was the toy for his wife and stuff like that and his daughter. So they probably have a little more... Uh, in that invested as far as, you know, emotional investment and stuff like that. So they don't want to kill that. Plus it makes sense. If you're going to kill one, you already got a men's magazine with MD, whatever's left of it. So you want to hit both fucking, you know, demos. You're going to keep the ladies magazine alive. So if they don't completely fucking fold very soon, my prediction is the men's magazine will be no longer very soon. And then at some point, they're going to go, MD is going to go to six and then four, and then they're going to fucking just fold the tent up. Um, if high-tech bails, they're fucking done. Dave said that today. I touched, I spoke with Dave this morning uh, to confirm that Aaron and Redcon also did bail. It wasn't just Dallas uh, leaving. But, you know, them ships be sinkings. <laughs> We're taking on a lot of water, Captain. Uh, I, it couldn't happen to a fucking nicer guy, Stevie B, my old fucking supervisor, boss, fucking commandant, director. But you know you have to understand. It yes, sour grapes. Sure, I'm not gonna be a fucking jerk off and say no. It's not new. Of course, it's sour grapes, but it's also competition. You see, because I also have a print magazine. 
okay? Print. So he is a print magazine. If he goes down, helps my fucking magazine. He goes down, it'll fucking helps a lot of fucking people that are just doing websites and stuff like that. Plus also, you know, my other online aspects of this whole company. Hence the whole muscle sport media. It's not just a magazine anymore. So, of course I want to see this guy fucking go down in flames. Too fucking bad. He treated people like shit and now he's getting right back up his ass. He deserves every fucking thing he gets. Too bad. I mean, this is fucking business. It's not, you know, if it's going to be fucking personal, I never slept with the guy. I never, he never, we didn't fuck each other. That's personal. That's different. There's no family relations there. It's business. <laughs> and business is a very cutthroat one, this bodybuilding business. But so you have to really, uh, what happened yesterday with Dallas McCarver, whatever my feelings on what happened between him and Sean Ray, I still think Sean had every right to fucking criticize him. It's his fucking job. And I still feel that Sean was right in that thing. And fuck, he's, because he's Team MD. Give me a fucking break. Your, your fucking product sucks cock as it is. Now all of a sudden you're gonna, you don't have any integrity left. So the one guy, well, besides Peter, Peter too. But one out of the last two guys that have any fucking clout left, you're gonna fucking neuter him and say you can't rip Dallas because Dallas is with us, because Dallas is with Redcon. And that's part of fucking being a critic, being a journalist, being a reporter. I won't even say writer because Ron Harris might think I'm speaking about him. You are not a writer, my friend, nor a fucking editor. <laughs> We've seen it with the, we're going to talk about your video show too on the next one. So Sean Ray, hey bro, I have no problem with what you said. Uh, you know, if it's a business issue and Steve says don't rip our guy, that's a business decision. I mean, he he had he neutered me when I was fucking working there, so. But I'm glad he didn't neuter you. You fucking much respect, obviously, your championship fucking career, notwithstanding, and your your second career as a fucking journalist in this industry. That is a fucking complete fucking disaster over there. And you did me a favor, Stevie B, by firing me because it forced me to do Muscle Sport Mag full fucking time. And now look where you are, and now look where I am. I'm in a fucking studio I built that we fucking record fucking shows every day here and you fucking can't you have a fucking bumbling editor that I can't even get a fucking webcam to work properly and that's your fucking salvation that's what's going to fucking keep you afloat <laughs> on that note we're going to end this one because I want to start the next one Ron later <laughs>